Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 6th through December 12th. We are just going to see what comes up. This is an overall energy. So what do we got for Capricorn? I've already done one for the first week of December and in another December monthly. If you'd like to see that, I'll tag it to the end. What do we have for Capricorn? One card, please. Overall energy. Planning and action. So this is about making plans and taking action. So it looks like that is going to be a big part of your week. We are going to go ahead and read that card. A watch, compass, and pencil lie on a street map that shows a castle in the distance. It's clear that someone is planning a trip or even preparing to run a, ra run a race. Although your challenge now might not be a literal race, this card is telling you to get ready for some major planning and action in your life. It may even indicate a trip or a move. Yeah, it looks like there, there could be... I'm trying to get that to focus so I can use it for a thumbnail, but I do feel like there is going to be a move or a trip. This is a time of acceleration for you to take advantage of this energy. Make your goal a priority now. If you need to strategize and make specific plans, be sure to get going on those preparations soon. Then follow up those plans with focused regular action in the direction of your desire. When you're engaged in this type of devotion, the universe takes you seriously and responds. Gather your thoughts, make your plans, and jump into action. Believe in yourself and allow that energy of belief to move you forward to the finish line. So this is a week of making plans for the future and the universe responding and taking action to make yourself successful. So making plans is one thing. Taking action is another. As you, It's like the wheel of fortune, okay? It's like free will and fate uh, working together, okay? So looks good. So what do we have for Capricorn? It's like the universe is responding to your action actions. Okay. In regards to your love life, keep an open mind. <laughs> your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So you need to keep an open mind. Your soulmate is not who you think they are. They are not your usual type by the looks of things. So you may need to be open. You may need to be more open to the differences of, you know, if, if you're single, say somebody's trying to come into your life and they don't fit the bill. You know, maybe you need to be open to uh, change. You know, maybe maybe, you know, this person is different because for a reason, all the rest of them didn't work out for a reason. Anyhow, you're being called to keep an open mind. Um, your soulmate doesn't fit the description of what you thought they were going to be. They are not your usual type. Okay. And it may be that you have a soulmate that um, is very, very different. Yeah, obviously, I mean that's what it says. But ooh, tower moment! Somebody is going to be experiencing a fated life event. Hmm. You have options, Capricorn. Many, many, many options. And I feel like you need you're gonna have choices. You need to you need to make a choice. You're gonna you can there's confusion here. You definitely have some confusion. Confusion over the options that you have. Um Okay. 
Okay, so the first card out is the Eight of Swords with an obstacle being removed, a partner. I feel like you have somebody else, okay? I feel like there's a partnership that you are in that is not compatible and that has been holding you back. You may have been trapped in, in some situation. You may have been in in denial, you know, staying somewhere that may have felt comfortable, but it really wasn't comfortable. I feel like there's going to be an argument or a fight or a disruption or an accident or something happens that changes your uh, view of whoever you're dealing with. Okay. You're, you're, you're going to see something. You're going to see something very, very, very clearly that is going to change uh, your view. Um, yeah, it is. See right here, this, this is a mask and this is something being hidden. The, the uh, disruption comes in and uh, shows you something. Light gets shed. Light is going to get shed on, on a situation. There's a false foundation here. There's, a, there's something that is built on false pretenses. Uh, get prepared for a change. Get prepared for, for the universe to show you something that... Uh, forces a change. It forces you to see something that you have been choosing not to see. Um, yeah, you're about to see something. And I think it's in regards to a partnership. I think you're so... I, for some of you, uh, I don't know, there could be a change in the home. There could be something to do with the home or there could have something to do with a... This could have to do with work. It could have to do with... Uh, yeah, it could with the Six of Pentacles. That could have to do with work, but it could also have to do with partnership. Okay, I don't know what is going on here, but there's been an obstacle. Somebody's been lying. The Eight of Swords reverses lies. Okay, it's all there is to That's all there is to it. I feel like there's some lies, but it could be fear as well. Somebody may be paranoid. They could be paranoid. They could be fearful. But there is something that is going to be shown to you that is going to help you to see. They're going. It's going to help you to see something about a partner. Okay, whether it's good or bad, you're going to see something about a partner. Now, the six, and this could be a work partner. I don't know. Um, could be somebody that works for you even. You know, it could be somebody that works for you. This person comes to your home and they work for you. All right, you may have been not seeing something about a person. Maybe, you know, they're, you're paying them to do some sort of job and there's some sort of deception. So just beware. Anyhow, six of pentacles. Six of Pentacles, that is about generosity. It's about give and take. It's about receiving something. You're going to be, you're going to be receiving clarity. That's what you're going to be receiving. Um, I think it feels like you have been paying somebody something and you're about to uh, see something about this person, whatever that means, something to do with money. Because this is your money sector. This is your money sector. This is your love sector. And this is your health or overall whatever. Um so I feel as far as your money goes, I feel like you've been paying somebody that uh, has been lying to you. And I think that you need to stop paying them, okay? I think that there's there's going to be a major fight or a disruption that shows you who this person really is. Um, you got somebody working against you, put it that way. you got somebody that is working against you. It's a partner or somebody that you have been working with, Um there's going to be a major disruption. There's no doubt about it. An obstacle is going to be removed. The universe is going to show you something. And it's going to make it's going this is going to cause upheaval. It's going to cause it's going to cause disruption in your life, but it needs to be seen. So be prepared. Whatever whatever happens is going to it's happening for a reason because you deserve um you deserve something with the six of pentacles. You deserve equality. You deserve repayment. You deserve reciprocation. You deserve to get what you pay for, whatever that means. So I think you're going to see something that shocks you, you know? Oh, that's interesting. As far as your love life goes, um, I would say, I would say that 
I think there's going to be a change. Obviously, there's going to be a change. There's there's upheaval in the home. There's upheaval in the home. There's, there's it's not comfortable. I think there's other options. Somebody's exploring other options. There's confusion. You need there's somebody that isn't being true. They may be in some sort of fantasy. There's lies. There's deception. I'm just being honest with you. I mean, with the King of Swords reverse, you could be receiving some information that you don't want to hear. It's very challenging information. Um, I feel like you're protected. You're protected in some way. I think that you have somebody that is definitely against you. And I'm not sure it's a lover. I don't feel like it is. I mean, it could be. It could be. There is somebody here that is, is not, and it, I don't know, maybe it, for some of you, it could be you. Somebody is, is being dishonest. They're not telling the truth. Um, we have a liar here. We have a liar that is, is, is exploring other options. Um... And I feel like you're going to, well, you're going to see it. That something is going to be revealed. Something is definitely, definitely, definitely going to be revealed to you. Um, it feels like we have a cold, uncaring individual here with that King of Swords reverse. That's somebody who, you know, abuses their power, dishonest, uh, violent. There could even be some violence here. Um, power crazed individual, but there's protection with that star card. It feels like you're protected. You're protected, but there is going to be, there is going to, I feel like there's going to be an uproar this week and it's, and it's probably where you live. It could be at your home. Yeah, it doesn't have to be at your home. It could be at your work. Um, it could be with a family member. There could be some family, a family feud of some sort with that 10 of pentacles reversed. There could be a family feud. I feel like, or a family quarrel or something like that but anyway I feel like there's going to be an element of confusion and needing to explore other options uh in regards to your love life something is going to be revealed in which you know uh you've been confused about this you I feel like you've been choosing it's almost like you've been wearing rose colored glasses it feels like you got yourself involved with a, somebody or a situation where there's a where there's an unstable foundation. Okay, it's an unstable foundation. It's not real. There's 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 some sort of falseness to it. Somebody got themselves. You know, it was a false beginning. It was it was based on false pretenses from the beginning. I feel like you're about to be shown something that. Uh, Oh, well, it's lies. Some lies are about to be shown to you. I feel like there's there's some sort of injustice here. There's there's bad karma. This is bad karma. Something is going down. It's going downhill very very fast. Something is going downhill downhill very 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 fast. There could be some punishment that is coming. There, if you're going to court or if there's any law, something to do with law, it may not go in your favor. If there's a contract or something, you know, it may not be honest. Somebody may be doing something that is against the law or there's a lack of integrity here. There's a need to be held accountable. There's some consequences here. Some, and this could be some sort of punishment. So I'm wondering if some sort of punishment is coming. Um, somebody is uh, just can't change. They're unwilling to change. Refusing to take a new approach. So because they're refusing to take a new approach, there's something that is going downhill fast. Okay, it's it's not going in the right direction. There's a lot of lies here, by the way. Lies, lies, lies. False uh, sense of security. You know, somebody is holding on to a false sense of security, um, needing to let go. Stuck, really, really stuck, really trapped. Trapped in a place that they shouldn't be in. There's some sort of abuse here. Could be mental abuse, verbal abuse, bully. We may have a bully. So we may have somebody here that is a bully. Somebody could end up in jail, you know. This is like jail and this this could be jail as well. So somebody could end up in jail. Um, Ten of Pentacles reversed. That is upheaval. It's upheaval. And there is upheaval. There's upheaval on the home front. There's short-lived success. This is a huge loss. It's like losing it all. This is 
uh, again, false impressions. We have somebody here that is really pretending to be somebody that they are not. And I feel like there's going to be fighting. There could be fighting over money or um, an unstable home life. There's like an unstable home life that is about to, it feels like it's about to come to a head. Now, somebody may be moving home. There could be, there could be a sudden change in the home, you know, where all of a sudden somebody has to move. Um... The hangman reversed is refusing to go in, struggling to let go, obsessed with control, fighting. And I do see fighting. I feel like there's going to be a massive fight this week with somebody. Um, and it's troublesome. There's trouble here with the six of swords reversed. There is. There's trouble. This is, this is stuck. Somebody is really, it is stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Somebody is really, really stuck. They're stuck on something that is... Uh, very, very unstable. It's not stable. It's false. It's it's a false foundation. It's not meant to last. It wasn't built to last. You need to let it go. You need to let it go. So this is the week where you put that where you put that plan in action. Okay, it's time to rebuild. It's time to build a new foundation. It's time to build a new life. Okay, it's time to build a new life. It's not going to be easy. Maybe you need to save your money because with that six of pentacles, save your money. You know, it's time to bring balance. It's time to, maybe you need to balance out your bank account. Balance out your expenses. I feel like you're going to be receiving something, you know, that allows you to make a better choice. But I feel like you have a hard time making a better choice. I feel like, and it's because of ego. Because this is ego right here. Ego will stop a person from making the right choice. It feels like the universe is trying to grant you a wish. It's like they're trying to, they've heard your prayers and they're trying to grant you a wish. But like I said, free will and fate, free will plays a part. You have to take action. You have to be honest with yourself. And I feel like you haven't been honest with yourself. And there's fear here. Some of you are in a partnership and I'm just going to be honest with you. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This is a partnership where there's lies. It's false. There's a false sense of security. You know, and if you're single, your soulmate does not look like your usual type. You know, um, it looks it looks like you because this six of this cup, the six of not six of cups, six of pentacles is receiving receiving what you deserve you reap what you sow somebody's about to get exactly what they deserve whether it's good or bad just so you know their choices their previous choices is going to give them what they deserve so this is a week of getting what you deserve whether it's good or bad based on your previous choices Now, this Six of Swords reverse is refusing to take a new approach, refusing to move on. Very, very stubborn. We have somebody here that is very stubborn, very stuck in their ways, does have a big ego, that is obsessed with control, that is refusing to learn a lesson, that will not learn a lesson. That person is going down. That's bad karma. Somebody is, is getting, uh, this is, they may th say, this isn't fair, this isn't fair. You know, somebody may be saying those words, this isn't fair, why is this happening? You know, it's happening for a reason. It is happening for a reason. There's been an injustice here. Somebody's been lying. Somebody's been weighed down. They've been weighed down by an unwillingness to change, unwillingness to change perceptive, perception, perspective. So anyway, I feel like this week you are going to be dealing with a major life change with that tower card. And it could, I don't know, maybe it even has something to do with the government. It may or may not. Um, but there's going to be some, there's going to be a shakeup. It's like your life is, is, is going to change. It's going to change drastically. It, there's going to be a need to start over from scratch. 
and and whatever and I don't know in what area of the life your life that is but when the tower falls there is no choice but to start over Somebody's been in some sort of fantasy land with that Seven of Cups. They have. They're, they are about to receive. Somebody's about to receive exactly what they deserve. And there could be, there's going to be a change. There's going to be a, I feel like there's going to be a change in the home. Or in the family dynamics. It feels like somebody's been trying to be stopped, trying to stop somebody, trying to stop somebody from succeeding, you know, trying to stop somebody from being at peace, causing somebody trouble. Karma never loses an address. So this is somebody that's, this is like, you know, you're not doing this. I'm going to, this is highly obsessed with control. We have a very controlling individual that is trying to stop somebody, trying to, you know, trying to control Karma. This is a week of karma in some way, good or bad. There's been some sort of abuse. It's time to heal as well. It's time to heal from abuse. I see a new partnership in the future. I don't know who with, but there's a new partnership in the future. Could be with an Aquarius. But it's after somebody steps outside of their comfort zone and removes an obstacle. There's an obstacle. Some and it's an obstacle of fear and paranoia and lies. Some there's lies. Lies have been holding a person down and all those lies are about to come to a head and that is what I see this week. It's time for you to plan your new life and take action and get out of this false sense of security that you have been holding on to. Seriously. There could be help. Somebody could be receiving help and maybe it's help that they don't want. I'm just being honest with you. Help is arriving, okay? And it may be courtesy of the justice system. Anyhow, um, somebody's going to be thinking about their choices. They're going to be thinking about their options and needing to. Really needing to explore their options and make better choices in the future. So anyway, Capricorn, I feel like you can expect, you know, a major uh, disruption with that tower card. This is this is this needs to happen so that you can start with a clean slate. Good luck.